is the same sort of thing. This is that one there is pretty much the same size as what my father's got. Same thing again there. Shadowing itself a bit there. Players and whatnot as well. This one doesn't even have a wheel, this one. long enough and you can build a dam. It might take you a couple of weeks. I recognise this stuff from some of the old stuff that's uh, come off Michael's farm and my father has a bit of a smaller one at home. Alrighty, here's one of the uh, shovels my father's got. Uh, I think that hooks to the back of the tractor or the back of the old horsey. Um, or something like that. There's... Oh, there's probably bits of wood that go through here. Or something like that. And apparently there's a lever at the back, which I assume is basically like... Like two pick handles through there. And you sort of lean in or you back off. Um, and apparently you got to lean in a reasonable amount as the horse or the tractor pulls this forward and it scoops up a bit of crap and then you've, you've got to sort of uh, basically push forward so the front digs into the ground and then it tips upwards and tips out the contents and they had a dam which used to keep getting full of mud and they'd use a tractor and a person but honestly you go for about an hour and a half maybe two hours on the back and that was about all you could do a day if you didn't want to stuff your back and you know if it was nice smooth mud it was fine if there's a rock or a tree root then you'd be bloody things would go flying up on you and you'd just about get chucked over the top um, same again here there's a bit of the chain there and that would be your handle mount there your two bolts Obviously the bolts come out and it's fallen down, but the wheel's got nothing to do with anything, I don't think. I don't think. I think it's just something else. Um, but yeah, it gives you a bit of an idea of the way it all worked. Very slow and arduous process, but it was possibly horse-powered earth moving for um, a farmer. It was like... Well, you can get a little shovel and dig by hand, or you can hook old horsey onto this and dig real shovel force. And uh, if you went long enough, you could build a dam. You could quite easily build a large trench with it, um, or clean out an existing dam of mud, as my father used to do in his younger days. He actually had one of these that you could hook on the back of a tractor that had some other setup that would hold at level, uh, it was like a three point linkage setup, and then there was some lever that you'd actually pull and it'd release a catch and the whole thing would just go tip forwards um, and in all that it went somewhere he thinks he might have bent something or whatever and then my uncle done who knows what with it and who knows where it went at the end of the day uh, but that was a more mechanised version that you would hook um, to the three-point linkage of the tractor and that's disappeared over time and, and whatnot but um, yeah we've still got these old classics here not that we actually use them I mean let's face it there's a flipping hole in the bottom of that one uh, but it you know it gives you a bit of an idea I could envision some of these steel bathtubs in place of this you could probably work the rest out this is only blooming thick sheet metal. Oh, it's not even not even one eighth of an inch uh, punched out with holes drilled in it for this gear and uh, more holes for the brackets that hold all this. But yeah, you know, a bit better than going by hand. 
yourself if you get old horsey or an old tractor or, you know, maybe even an old truck with a gasifier to uh, do the work or an old steam traction engine or something like that. A bit of food for thought for you all there about the old school way of uh, getting a bit of dirt around the place.